think it's the early days of how doctors are actually, you know, figuring out how to use this information, how they want to use this information. Um, you know, 23andMe is definitely very eager to work more and more with the physician community. I think that one of the things that I said in the talk today was the, the emphasis on pharmacogenetics. So if we can understand better what drugs are going to respond to and what drugs are going to be safer for you, I think that that's something that doctors are, are actually somewhat familiar with, and I think that's the easiest place for everyone to latch on. So I think that more and more that might become the way that physicians start to use genetic information. I think in terms of the insurance companies, I think that there's actually really a lot of positive ways to, to use this. I think that insurance companies are aligned with the consumer in the sense that they only want to pay for things that are actually going to work. Nobody wants to be on a chemotherapy agent and have it not work on them or actually have a lot of toxicity. So I think the insurance companies could end up becoming a significant um, force for us in terms of bringing genetic information forward. Um, there's things like the genetic information, GINA, the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, which does prevent the, the discrimination. So, you know, I think that's something that people always are, are worried about and people have to watch out for, but we are quite comfortable that, you know, federal legislation has come out to ban that. People are going to start using it for drugs. Hmm? I think people are going to say, I don't want to pay my 20% copay of a $30,000 drug. I don't want to put that money out unless I actually know it's going to work for me. And so I think people are going to say, I want to know ahead of time. I want to, you know, have a genetic test that's going to tell me whether I'm likely to respond or whether or not it's likely to have a severe adverse event. So I think that there's a real near-term application for using genetics in that capacity. Uh, I think that the, the great thing about genetics and what we're doing is it really provides people an opportunity to be an active participant in healthcare. So right now, you know, your physician makes a lot of decisions for you. The you know clinical trials happen, and it's clinical trial. You're just a human subject. And the thing that 23andMe really does is that we want to bring patients to the forefront of, of the entire healthcare um, you know cycle, where we want you to actually have you know an active an active role. If you want to participate in research, you want to know more things about your yourself, you can actually start to do that now with 23andMe.